Hi friends, Jamie here. And so I just wanted to hop on and answer a question from this week regarding salt intake on the Mediterranean diet and specifically whether or not we should be adding salt to the foods we're eating throughout the week. And so recently the dietary guidelines for Americans came out that we should be limiting our sodium intake to less than 2,300 milligrams a day, which is about the same as one teaspoon of table salt. So one teaspoon of table salt can, gives you just over 2,300 milligrams of sodium, and we want to limit to that per day. And so rather, aside from just adding salt to our food during the day, salt is also hidden in many of the foods we eat on a day-to-day -day basis. It's often found in the majority of processed foods, such as pizzas, canned, frozen um, fruits and vegetables, also frozen meals, or foods that you get while dining out and fast food as well. It's also found in some regularly um, consumed foods on the Mediterranean diet, including cheese, such as feta cheese, as well as our whole grain breads. If we're not making them from home, often commercially prepared breads do contain some sort of sodium at baseline. We also find it in olives. Olives are brined in salt, which gives it that salty flavor. And so it's not to say that these foods are unhealthy for you. We do want to consume some amount of sodium throughout the day. It's just that we do want to limit to less than 2,300 milligrams. And so while the Mediterranean diet at baseline is not a low sodium diet, it's more so a moderately consumed sodium diet if you are following all of the principles of the Mediterranean diet. And so it's recommended that we don't add any additional salt to our food that we're eating throughout the day. So if it does call for some salt in a basic recipe that you're preparing at home, it may be best to cut the salt in half if possible, if it doesn't change the structure of your food, or swapping out added salt for fresh herbs and spices. Last night, I prepared some roasted beets with a drizzle of olive oil, rosemary, and thyme, as well as some chicken with some lemon and olive oil, a little bit of garlic, and sometimes every now and then, I'll add on some dill too. So this is the time to kind of play with your fresh herbs and spices, make up some flavorful uh, meals and recipes. Definitely follow along our Instagram and our blog for some recipe and meal ideas that are low in sodium and encourage fresh spices and herbs. Thanks. Bye.